This video shows how to fix your HP printer when the ink carriage jams and the attention light on the printer's control panel blinks. Sometimes the problem can be fixed by resetting the printer. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button to turn on the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to pin the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will remove any foreign materials and clear any jams from inside the printer and paper tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Remove the power cord from the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Return to the front. Remove any loose paper from the input tray. If you see any jammed paper in the paper tray, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid tearing. Turn to the back. Use a flashlight to thoroughly check for torn pieces of paper and foreign objects that might remain inside the tray. If any debris remains inside the tray, more paper jams are likely to occur. Using both hands, gently turn the printer on its back with the output tray facing upward. Make sure the scanner lid is secure while rotating. Use your fingers to move the pick mechanism located inside the input tray and remove any debris. Debris might fall out of the printer. Use a flashlight to ensure there are no foreign objects remaining inside the input tray. Failure to remove debris could result in more jams or could damage the printer. Once all debris is removed from the printer, return the printer to its original upright position. Make sure the scanner lid is secure while rotating. Return to the front. Now, check the output tray for any jammed paper. If you see any jammed paper in the paper tray, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid tearing. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find any small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Open the cartridge access door. Check the cartridge access area for jammed paper. If you see any jammed paper, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid tearing. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find any small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Close the cartridge access door. Now, check the clean-out door underneath the printer for any jammed paper. Using both hands, gently turn the printer on its back with the output tray facing up. Make sure the scanner lid is secure while rotating. Locate the clean-out door. Press in on the tabs on the sides of the door to open it. Check the clean-out door area for jammed paper. If you see any jammed paper, remove it by pulling gently and evenly to avoid tearing. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area to find any small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Push the clean-out door back into place. 
Return the printer to its original upright position. Make sure the scanner lid is secure while rotating. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following step to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the access area. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area. Remove any obstructions that are found. Check the rollers and wheels for any torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach into the cartridge access area and manually move the carriage. Move the carriage to the left side. Using a flashlight, check the right side of the carriage path for any obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Then, move the carriage to the right side and check the left side of the carriage path for any obstructions. Remove any obstructions that are found. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Reconnect the other end of the power cord into its power source. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, you will fix this problem. The printer must be on for this step to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage will move into the access area. Allow the carriage to stop moving. Then, remove the cartridges. To do this, press down on the top of the cartridge to release it. Pull the cartridge out to remove it from the slot. Repeat for the other cartridge. When handling the cartridge, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. Be careful not to touch the contacts or nozzles because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the area. Make sure you reinsert the cartridges into the correct slots, tricolor on the left and black on the right. Hold the cartridge with the ink nozzles toward the printer and slide it directly into the open slot. Push the cartridge in until it latches into place. Repeat for the other cartridge. Close the cartridge access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time.
The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure the power source is functioning correctly. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Plug the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Start Copy Black button and the Start Copy Color button at the same time. The test page prints. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If you're using a USB cable, reconnect it to the printer and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Your options for service might vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.